This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the International B One Make races. So we only have two this time, and they're a bit shorter than the ones in the A license section, which is odd, but I'm not complaining. So we have the Elise Trophy and the Corvette Festival around Brands Hatch Grand Prix and Willow Springs International, respectively. So we need a Lotus Elise, and everybody's using the um, 111R. So we're gonna be cool kids, and we're gonna use something different. Whoops, that is not Lotus. That is Lister. Lotus is up here. I am dumb. What we're going to be using is the... Where the hell is it? I just passed it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. The 96 Lotus Elise, because it looks really good. And I'm getting an orange. Actually, I used orange last time. Ruby Metallic. That looks sick. We're getting it, Ruby. The Motorsport Elise? No, it's, unfortunately, it's standard. Premiums only, unless it's like the rare exceptions that I made, which are the Prowler, the Auto Union, and there's another one I'm going to make an exception for. Possibly two. You'll have to find out and see. Motorsport Elise, dude. I might. I, I think I know when I'm going to use that car in um, the PS2 era GT games when we eventually get there. Because after I'm done with these games, with 1 and 6, um... We're taking a break from Gran Turismo games because I don't want to rush into two. Anyways, three laps around Brands Hatch, Indy. Indy, Grand Prix. Jesus Christ. Tiny ones? Well, it does have a race mod. Even though the race mod is, it's like the LM race car or whatever. The 90s at least more. It's a good car. Oh, God, we're on comfort stops. Nope. And I know we're significantly underpowered compared to the other cars. So, uh, no. Sport hearts. Gotta put my heart on. I know, right? It's, it's like, it's perfect. Like a splitter. Huh, okay. That's interesting. Formula GT? No, we can't. Oh, actually, uh, no. Not the Formula GT car. Because, um, you can't use the Formula GT. You can't really use it for anything in this game. Because of the performance point limit. So I guess this will be an easy hint for the, the other two standard cars to show. Um, the hint is basically, um, I don't even need to break for, for T3. What the hell am I doing? Like it, this car has no horsepower. It's the base model Elise. I guess I'm trying to treat this thing like the Sport 190 and that was a terrible corner by the way. I know, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, Reaper. So off screen, John, I used the uh, Lotus Evora for the um, British Lightweight Championship. That car was fun to drive. But anyways, the hints to show are... Um, so it relates to GT4. Basically, one of the standard cars I'm probably going to use, you can't use it because it's a special car. Again, just like the Prowler. And then the other one is... Um, it's missing from the Japanese version. So if I do end up playing the Japanese version for a playthrough, then um, yeah, we'll be using it in this game so that way we don't miss out on its legendariness. If that's even a word, which it's not. Wait, is... Really, sub? Dude, if if it had a sport mode, that would have been crazy, but it would have been kind of dead, I think, because GT6's online was dead, dude. I know for a fact, because I used to play GT5 online all the time. The online was cracking for that game. There was a lot of people playing, and then... And also my friends included because they had PS3s at the time. But when GT6 came out, my friends moved on to PS4. And I was the only one who played PS3. And literally, like, maybe at launch people were playing. But unless you had a group of friends, you could literally find almost no lobbies. Brand Snatch. Jesus, Frank. Dude, it really was. Dude, that master mod is literally going to breathe. It's literally breathing all the life back into that game. And also with the crazy, crazy, crazy customization in terms of like being able to make your own point to point races. It, Dude, there's so many new variables there. But um, for GT5 master, dude, like, like I said, you guys need to get modded PS3s 
like that has to be literally like a, an organized um an organized session League of Champions Hmm That would have been interesting Also yeah this car handles like it, it doesn't necessarily handle bad but it's snap oversteer sort of even though even though it has low horsepower but it is a Lotus after all can you use a PS3 emulator um you probably can I'm pretty sure it'll be on paper maybe easier yep short wheelbase but um on paper it might be easier to mod the game and you know play online with it but um you know because of the X link and every all the other mods you need but um getting the emulator to run is a whole different question my PS3 is modded so, I just need to figure out that X-Link shit, and then I need to mod the game itself. And then I pretty much got it down. Why am I breaking for T3? I don't need to break there. Not with this car. I can literally just maybe go in flat out or maybe just lift halfway. This car has, like, no power, so I don't need to do any of that. Dude, I want to fuck around with the Master Mod, too, Reaper. Like, like I don't want to go and ask Thunder to do a bunch of stuff for me. It's just, like, I hate doing that. I only asked him to paint the XJ220 race car once on Twitter to make it look like the alternate um, livery from, uh, what's it called? Uh, GT2. And Thunder says that, like, the mod it's yes the yellow yep he did it he found i think the the kuntash's yellow color the 74 model and it looked perfect and pretty much like i um i know that painting the race cars it, you know he's mentioned that it doesn't produce the greatest results but that's where the fun comes in and just ex, ex you know exploration Ping issues? Oh shit, because you're far away from all of us. And if your internet's not the best, that would suck. Is it easy to install Master Mod Pink? Because um, it seems like it, but I, I'm too lazy to actually look. Yep, Corvette time. Let's go get our Corvettes. I'm saving both replays, but um, it's easy to mod nice. It's funny because, like, in um, when I recorded the A license and IB events off screen or off stream, I mean, obviously, I you know I did jump cuts and stuff because I'm not talking to anybody <laughs> while I'm going through the menus. But um, here I'm talking to you guys, so th th why would I cut this out? Anyways, time for a Chevrolet, and um, you know what? I think it was Bust who mentioned in chat. He reminded me of uh, this thing. I was gonna use the C5 Corvette because it's the best. Let's be honest, this is the greatest Corvette ever made. This and the C4 are like the best Corvettes, hands down. But because of this ugly monstrosity, we're gonna use the C7 test prototype. Why the hell not? It's ba it's the same car. It's just it has the tarps over it. Oh, yes, it does. It does. It has the, um... It has that, like, um... Le Mans Blue or something? I forget what it's called. Yeah, Le Mans Blue and Red. Yep. That looks... That looks cool, but Millennium Yellow will always be my color. Oh, yeah, dude! That's right. It's called the Gran Turismo XXXXXX in the, um... Garage Editor. I forgot about that. So anyways, Corvette Festival, five laps around Willow Springs International, the big Willow track. That's it? It's just one folder? But wait, do you ha Oh, you have to downgrade or update to 211. Well, okay, wait. Isn't 211 the, like, final update, or is it, like, 2.14? I forget. I can literally reinstall the game on my PS3. It doesn't really matter. No? Okay. 2.17. Got it. Okay. I just need to downgrade the game then. John, it's my home track. 
It's actually two hours. Two hours away from LA. More like an hour and a half. It's like, I would say probably an hour and a half with no traffic. Two hours with the normal traffic that, that's present in LA. Cali boy, yep. This track, this track is literally in the city of Palmdale, which is literally, or yeah, it's Palm. No, 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 not Palmdale, or no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Fuck, can I remember? No, Lancaster. This is in Lancaster, or Palmdale. Wait. No, no, I'm thinking about Palm Springs. I'm gonna say not to the east, but um, yeah, it's like Lancaster, Palmdale. It's literally Willow Springs, and then absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm, I know you're a Texan. You mentioned before. <laughs> Run off to be like Guten Tag. Oh yes, the ERC race. Unfortunately, I never got to run a single race, dude. It's just unfortunate timing, man. For me, it's just like, dude, I spent all the time away from streaming and I spent all the time away from sim racing, and it was well worth it. I know I mentioned this in the GT1 stream, but like. Dude, if I didn't spend all my time away from from you guys and focus on school, there was no way I would have passed the semester. All the effort I put in, two A's, a B, and a C. I don't know how the fuck I pulled it off with studying at home. And studying at home is terrible, especially at my house. But um, managed to do it somehow. No problem, Elsie. Enjoy yourself. That's it. Also, we're driving Corvettes, because why not? Also, I'm driving the freaking prototype model of the C7, because it's it's there. The taillights are different. They're more round. <laughs> the tarps give it extra downforce, dude, according to somebody. Oh, I realize I never drove in chase cam for the other laps in, um, in the Lotus. Oof. Oh, well. I forgot to do that. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's it was a three-lap race, and it went by pretty quick, so I completely forgot. Has anyone here ever seen any uh, prototype test cars on the road? Like any, any of my US viewers? It's funny when you see, like, all camouflage cars, and then you're like, oh, clearly somebody um, working for, for a company doing, like, testing and shit. Of Hyundai's? Nice. What's up, Reaver? Through the grapevine? Dude, I've seen some Mercedes cars with um, camouflage. It's pretty entertaining. It's just, like, you pull out your phone, and they just look at you like, oh, you fucking asshole. Like, I never take pictures, though, because, like, what the hell can I do with them? I mean, technically, I could sell them to the media or whatever, but, like, why would I do that? Like, I don't know. C8R? Dude, the C8R does look good. Every Corvette is cool. Yeah, money, but I don't know where to go with pictures. <laughs> and I wouldn't, I'm not a good photographer, so I wouldn't know what to do. Nice, Sob. Oh, dude, Elsie, that's so sick. I bet you were just, like, jaw to the floor and everything. Wait, really? Reaper, that's so sick. Like I said, I've only seen Mercedes cars. Um, either camouflaged or um, with the tarp over it. The C8? We'll see. Hopefully it is. Steal the test car. Yes. Great idea. Steal a one-of-a-kind test car and, like, uh... You, you know, tr just try to get rid of it, sell it. No one's gonna ask questions. Like, how dumb do you have to be in all seriousness to, like, steal, like, one-off exclusive things that, you know, you can't get rid of? Like, I'm, I'm mainly talking about, like, the thieves who stole from Pierre Gasly's house. Like, okay, y'all stole, like... A podium trophy from the Brazilian Grand Prix that's totally not gonna be suspicious at all if you try getting rid of it 
And even then, what the hell are you going to do with a second place trophy from a Formula 1 race? I guess you could stare at it, but even then, like, what do you get out of it? The uncute compact? Bro, it's still cute. And aggressive. And if I shift? Well, the first time I raced, um, Willow was this game. I didn't even know about his existence until this game, and then I was like, oh my god, that's a track that's near, that's near me. What, Reaper? I want to hear what you have to say. Final lap. Pro Street? What is she supposed to do? Uh, not steal it? That's wrong. But the point of stealing is to, like, make money off of whatever or to, you know, to get something that will, will, like, work for you, I guess. Like, you can't really do that with a Formula 1 trophy for another driver. It's kind of impossible to do, to do either of that. Six and seven. I... This thing's a six speed. Oh, that's probably just because of the fact that, like, this is the prototype model. So there probably is some difference. It's literally not just tarp and different headlights or different taillights. It's literally a different car. It's literally the prototype model. Velocitors. Oh. Uh, yes, Mikhail. I know what you're talking about. I'm looking at the Hyundai Racing Challenge LA Auto Show. Uh, no, Luis, this one isn't. I'm shifting, if you can hear the the paddle. It's a six-speed. This one in particular is a six-speed. Prototype model again. So anyways, with our test prototype car, we win the Corvette Festival. That's right, these events actually have names. And that's it. Every IB license events, apart from the coffee breaks, which we'll do at the end of the game, before the finale, not before, right before the finale, but somewhere around the finale, complete. So hooray. I was going to use the Lotus for the thumbnail, but I'm going to be using the Corvette because I think it'd be funny to use a test prototype with um, production cars. So yes, IB license, one makes complete. IB license, racing in general, complete. And we are currently at, what, 61%? 61%, cool. So, we need to get licensed again. And that's going to be next.